This is freaking insane. How's this guy know all this stuff? You got me. Everything is in here. I mean everything, from the racist truck to, to me having sex. I'm full frontal in here, dude. How come we haven't heard of them before? They're pretty obscure. I mean, almost zero circulation. Uh, started in 05. Publisher put out a couple dozen before going bankrupt. And uh, the last one, No Rest for the Wicked, ends with you going to hell. I reiterate, freaking insane. Oh, check it out. There's actually fans. There's not many of them, but still. Did you read this? Yep. Although for fans, they sure do complain a lot. Listen to this. Simpatico says the demon storyline is trite, cliched, and overall craptastic. Yeah, well, screw you, Simpatico. We lived it. <laughs> yeah, we'll keep on reading. Gets better. There's Sam girls and Dean girls, and what's a Slash fan? As in Sam slash Dean together. Like together together? Yeah. They do know we're brothers, right? Doesn't seem to matter. Oh, come on. That that's just sick. We gotta find this Carver Edland. Yeah, that might not be so easy. Why not? No tax records, no known address. Looks like Carver Edland is a pen name. Somebody's gotta know who he is. So you published the supernatural books? Yeah. Yeah. These books. You know, they never really got the attention they deserved. All anybody wants to read anymore is that romance crap. You know, Dr. Sexy MD. <laughs> Please. Right. Well, we're hoping that our article can shine a light on an underappreciated series. Yeah. Yeah, because, you know, if we got a little bit of good press, then maybe we could start publishing again. No, 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 no. God, no. I mean, why, why would you want to do that? You know, it's uh, such a complete series. What with Dean going to hell and all. Oh, my God, that was one of my favorite ones because Dean was so strong and sad and brave. And Sam, I mean, the best parts are when they cry, you know, like in, in heart. When Sam had to kill Madison, the first woman since Jessica he really loved. And in home, when Dean had to call John and ask him for help. Gosh. If only real men were so open and in, in touch with their feelings. Real men? Uh, I mean, no offense. How often do you cry like that, hmm? Well, right now, I'm crying on the inside. Is that supposed to be funny? Lady, this whole thing is funny. <laughs> How do I know you two are legit, hmm? Oh, trust me, we, uh, we're legit. Well, I don't want any smart-ass article making fun of my boys. No, 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 no never. That's... We, we are actually, um, big fans. Hmm. You read the books. Cover to cover. Mm hmm What's the year and model of the car? It's a 1967 Chevy Impala. That's my second. That's my, uh, that's Sam's birthday. January 24th, Steens. Sam's score on the LSAT? One... Seven... Seventy-four? Dean's favorite song. It's a tie. Between Zepp's Ramblin' On and Traveling Riverside Blues. <laughs> okay. Okay. What do you want to know? What's Carver Edlin's real name? Oh, no. I, no. Sorry, I can't We just that. want to talk to him. You know, get the supernatural story in his own words. He's very private. It's like Salinger. Please. Like I said, we are, um... <laughs> Big, big fans. Awesome. <laughs> you know what? <clears throat> I got one too. Wow, you are a fan. <laughs> <sighs>